we're going to look at escape sequences here. So I'm going to start with a print, and that's SOUT tab is the shortcut to turn it into system.out.println. And you should have found out that capitals are important. That S needs to be capitalized. Out is not capitalized. Print is not capitalized. So let's say you want to print a quote. So you might think, oh, if I quote a quote, it'll print out. But what actually ends up happening, the quote starts here, ends here, and then another string starts right next door. So if you want to actually print a quote, there's two characters you have to put next to each other. The first backslash is called an escape. And then what it does, it tells Java, you actually want to put a double quote inside the string. So the two double quotes on the outside represent the start and the end of the string. And then inside, it's going to print one quote. I'm going to F6 run it. And there we go, single quote. All right, so how do I print two quotes? I'm going to copy this and paste it twice. So now that's one quote, and this is another quote. F6, you got double quotes. Okay, could paste it again, run it again. I inc strongly encourage you to practice, mess around with this right here. And this is the way I got five quotes here. So I'm going to duplicate this line, Control Shift down. All right, so how do I print a backslash? Obviously, this not going to work. It's already telling me there's an error. What the error is, is this right here is treated as a quote, a single quote, <laughs> is treated as a double quote inside of a string. That means the string itself needs to end before you hit this character. So this would print a quote, but of course I don't want to print a quote, I want to print a backslash. So every escape sequence, there's only four of them, begin with a backslash. And another escape sequence is a double backslash. We're going to run this, and there we go on the next line, we see it prints a single backslash. So I'll put two backslashes in, and you should be thinking, oh, it's four. Well, it's really, what I've highlighted is one backslash, and then the two characters before it are another backslash. Back Boom, that's two of them. Um, and put all those in, and that'll be four backslashes. You have to start viewing them as pairs. So there's two, three, four. So there's four backslashes. All right, next one is a tab. If you hit the tab key, uh, what ends up going in here is four spaces. So it's not exactly a tab. Um, kind of functions like a tab, but it's not a tab. So how do you do a tab? Backslash T. And I'll just write tab one, backslash T, tab two. Let me go ahead and put a zero in front. And we'll run that. And it will, now tabs are a little funky. They're a variable amount of space. Uh, that kind of fills some vertical or horizontal spacing requirement. We're not going to use tabs very much, so I would not worry too much about escaping tabs. No big deal. Uh, what I do want to look at is new lines. Those are important. So there's a slash n, backslash n, and if I run it, you don't see it, but what it did, it produced an extra new line here. So let me go ahead and count these out. I'm going to do 0 slash n. I'm going to duplicate that a few times. 1 slash n, 2 slash n, 3 slash n. And I don't really care much for tabs. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to put a bunch of asterisks here. Duplicate, control shift down. And then move this to the bottom. All right. And let's go ahead and control slash on those two lines so that they don't actually run, they're commented out. So all we're going to see is this output here. And what you see is a bunch of asterisks. Okay, first print statement. Then you see the zero. What's after the zero is a new line, which is represented by all this, basically a new line. There's nothing else on the line and we get to a new line. You're going to see one on the new line. And of course you can put more on there. And now you should, you'll see one with more here. Uh, 
Now, if you look, there's extra. After the three, there's an extra new line. If you don't want that, you can delete that slash n right there. Now, let's say you want to go right from the three and you want the asterisk next to the three. There's a hidden new line. It's right there. It's at the end of the print. The ln means add an extra new line. So I'm going to delete this ln and we'll run it again. And you're going to see it prints the three. And then the next thing it prints is all the asterisks right afterwards. And there's a few ways. If you did want the new line, I could, of course, put print ln back in here. Another way to do it, I could put the new line right there, run it. That'll put my new line back in. I could also put the new line after the three, run it like that. Uh, so there's several places that make sense for that new line. It just depends on uh, kind of the convention you're using inside of your program. But at some point, you have to put new lines in. So I'll delete the LN right here. And what do you think is going to happen? It's going to print asterisks, and then our zero is going to appear without a new line. So I could drop a slash n right here and get that new line back in there. All right, if you do a forward slash, forward slashes are no problem. You can do as many forward slashes as you need, and you'll see them appear as regular forward slashes. So they, they show up just as normal. It's only the backslashes, and if you zoom in your text really far, you can see that they're bolded right here. So it kind of gives you a visual uh, of the fact that they are special. These don't look bold because they're not next to normal characters. So I just kind of separate these out a little bit. You're going to see the regular characters are not bolded. And hopefully that'll help you with the escape sequences you need to uh, do the next lab.